Russia, a next Soviet country, is one of the few nuclear powers in the world, and it is never afraid of highlighting its superior capabilities. However, the large nation is employing its nuclear expertise in a new methodology that other countries and scientists are deeply concerned about and afraid of spaceflight. Given that the space business is one of the only sectors where nuclear power has been strictly regulated, its announcement of a new nuclear rocket has surprised the whole sector. What is the intention of Russia's new nuclear rocket? When will it launch? And what purposes and missions does Russia have in mind for it? Anywhere a nuclear facility is proposed to be built, there are typically local demonstrations because the majority of people do not want one in their neighborhood. This should not come as a surprise considering the extent of the harm that a damaged nuclear facility might do. As a result, the negative reputation that nuclear energy has developed is still a problem for those who seek to use it. What about a nuclear power plant on a rocket launch into orbit hundreds of thousands of kilometers away? Russia considers this to be an excellent concept and is now working on a solar system that investigates nuclear-powered rockets. The new Zeus nuclear-powered spacecraft has been revealed in full by the nation's space agency, Roscosmos. It also contains details on the missions that new, powerful spacecraft will undertake. Although a lot of people dislike nuclear energy, it really has a lot of benefits, which is why Russia is so keen on developing nuclear-powered spacecraft. Russia will be able to minimize a number of trip types since a nuclear reactor can provide specific power that is several orders of magnitude greater than that produced by other methods. For instance, the best-case scenario for a round-trip conventional rocket mission to Mars is three years. With the nuclear rocket, Russia has learned it is possible to reduce a required time to only two years, which represents significant cost savings given how expensive each day in space is. The cosmonauts are subjected to less radiation since space flight occurs more quickly. It is better to spend as little time as possible in deep space since it is dense with cosmic radiation. Utilizing nuclear-powered rockets, Russia thinks it may gain an edge in the race to the moon. Russian rockets can carry more payload thanks to nuclear energy, which is another advantage. As a result, it will be less expensive to carry exploration equipment, allowing for the transportation of more equipment for a variety of missions. One nation vying for the first place in the race to send humans back to the moon or perhaps establish a permanent base there is Russia. In order to prepare the satellite for the astronauts or cosmonauts, a significant amount of supporting infrastructure is needed. Russia is also threatened to withdraw from the International Space Station and establish its own, which will run purely on its future nuclear-powered Zeus rocket, which is a cheap way of delivering all the components needed to set it up. The use of a nuclear reactor to power a spaceship has other benefits, though. The nuclear reactors could also be used to provide cosmonauts with a consistent source of surface power during long exploration missions. Russia could also sustain human presence on other planets by providing power for decades without needing to refuel. One of the disadvantages of the new James Webb Space Telescope is that the mission ends when the fuel on board runs out. The spacecraft, propelled by nuclear energy, can last considerably longer. The plans for Russia's nuclear-powered Zeus spacecraft are extremely ambitious and could completely alter the direction of space exploration as other countries race to catch up. Zeus' unmanned mission will last 15 months and cover multiple planets according to the nation's news agency, TASS. The project Zeus scheduled is even more astounding. By 2030, a space station will be launched and a daring mission to land a probe on the south pole of the moon will attempt to land a probe there. Russia will have a busy final few years of this decade, and Roscosmos is depending on the new, potent Zeus rocket. A nuclear reactor with a 500 kilowatt output will power Zeus. The reactor will operate similarly to every other reactor constructed on Earth. Zeus will be up to 22 tons heavy when combined. Through the Russian Academy of Sciences, Russia is currently calculating the ballistics and payload of Zeus flights. The moon is Zeus' first stop after arriving. Zeus will release a spacecraft that will make it all the way to Venus once it reaches the moon. The spacecraft will arrive at Venus and use the planet's gravity to launch a second spacecraft that will then travel to Jupiter. For upcoming spacecraft that might try to travel even further through space, Russia will use the Zeus module as a mobile source of nuclear energy. 
It has been working on this rocket since 2010, and the initial design, which will cost 4.2 billion rubles, will soon be finished. However, Russia has another use for Zeus that is giving other world powers nightmares. The fearsome nuclear-powered rocket will be capable of shooting down enemy spacecraft from orbit. According to the Kaldesh Research Center, Russia will use Zeus in an anti-aircraft defense, detecting air targets from orbit and relaying the information to anti-aircraft systems. Zeus, a spacecraft with the megawatt-class nuclear power propulsion system, has been a subject of a research project by the Arsenal Design Bureau that looked at options for using it for tests, like distantly probing the Earth's surface using directed energy laser emission and electromagnetic interference with electronic components of controlled reconnaissance, communication, and navigation systems. The Keldesh Research Center also disclosed plans to test a drip refrigerator emitter for the nuclear-powered tug aboard the International Space Station. But that was before Russia made it known it intended to construct its own space station. Russia won't divulge every aspect of Zeus' nuclear reactor's operation because space exploration is a cutthroat industry. NTP or nuclear thermal propulsion is one of the options Russia has with this nuclear reactor. A liquid propellant, most likely hydrogen, is pumped through a reactor core to power NTP. Fission occurs when uranium atoms split apart inside the core, producing heat. The propellant is heated during this physical process, turning it into a gas that is expanded through a nozzle to create thrust. Zeus and NTP rocket will be twice as effective and more energy-dense than chemical rockets. The amount of thrust you can generate from a particular amount of propellant is known as the specific impulse, and it serves as a measure of this performance. A typical chemical rocket's specific impulse, which is 450 seconds, is only half the initial target's propellant efficiency for nuclear-powered rockets. Chemical rockets typically burn liquid oxygen and hydrogen. Because lighter gases like hydrogen accelerate more readily, this is the case. A much heavier byproduct than hydrogen, which is used in an NTP system, is produced when chemical rockets are burned water vapor. Greater efficiency and the ability to go further on less fuel are the result of this. Nevertheless, when Zeus is complete, will there be a nuclear threat? NTP systems are not required to be employed at launch, despite the fact that many individuals would like to know this. Prior to activating this NTP system, Zeus may be sent into orbit using chemical rockets. As a result, the ground crew and any other nearby people are protected from deadly radiation in the case of an accident. Additionally, low enriched uranium is the preferred fuel for NTP systems, which will reduce the expense of safeguarding highly enriched uranium fuel from endangering people. Roscosmos is involved in the development of nuclear-powered rockets since it has a contract with the Design Bureau Arsenal to create the Nuclon, a new nuclear-powered space tug. The design will cost $57.7 million and be delivered to Russia in July 2024. In the interim, the U.S. has been testing nuclear rockets for use in deep space propulsion, showing that it is not content to watch Russia lead the way in this area. In 2012, a NASA team of scientists from the Glenn Research Center in Cleveland and the Los Alamos National Laboratory in Los Alamos showed how to use a heat pipe to cool a small nuclear reactor and also being the first to use a Stirling engine to convert reactor heat into electricity. This new concept for a reliable nuclear reactor that could be used in space flights. The test was carried out at the device assembly plant close to Las Vegas owned by the Nevada National Security Site. The heat pipe used by NASA is a sealed tube with an internal fluid that formally conveys the heat generated by a reactor. It benefits from not having any moving parts. NASA uses a lot of the heat pipe technology that was created in Los Alamos in the 1960s for aerospace applications. A closed-loop engine called Stirling engine uses pressurized gas to drive a piston inside the magnetic field in order to convert thermal energy into electrical power. To produce a dependable electric power source that might be used in space applications, the research team integrated the two ideas. Let's hear you in the comment section if you think Russia can win the space race with its new nuclear-powered rocket. In this video, we bring you all you need to know about Russia's controversial new nuclear rocket that shocks the entire space industry. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Who do you predict will dominate in the space race? Is it the US or Russia? 
Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.